welcome back to my channel and if you are new welcome to my channel as you may all know Kim Kardashian and Mario are finally collaborating they are coming out with a palette and on Kim Kardashian and Mario's Instagram I already saw a sneak peek it was a blue eyeshadow look that he created 10 years ago because that's when it all started there you know connection and that's when Mario did her first makeup and I was obsessed I was obsessed I had to recreate that look it is not the same um, first of all I'm not using the palette because I don't have the palette it's not released yet so I had to work with the products that I have and the picture was not very clear so I had to improvise and some things I was just guessing because it was very hard to see on the picture. But to be honest, I'm pretty happy and pleased on how my makeup turned out. So if you want to see uh, what I use to recreate uh, that look, then please keep on watching. I am thinking about something that I need to tell you, but I don't know what. I have no idea. Anyway, let's just jump right into the video and enjoy. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyes and I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC35. And this is not a beauty blender, it is a sponge by Real Techniques. And setting it with a little bit of the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Just the white on white looks better. Oh. And the first color I'm going to use is from the Juvia's Masquerade palette and it's called Burkini. Burkini? Burkina. I'm sorry. Burkina. And it's a uh, matte brown shade uh, but not too warm because I was looking at her picture and there was a little bit of a transition color but not too much. So we're gonna go soft. And I'm using the Morphe M441 brush and I'm going to apply this to my coat. Ooh, that's a lot. Just a tiny amount. And before we're gonna go in with the blue shade, I'm quickly going to highlight the brow bone uh, with a MAC 242 brush and this is the Umbreezy highlighter by Anastasia. Yeah, not too much because her highlighter wasn't too blinding. So for the blue eyeshadows, I'm actually only going to use two colors. Uh, the first one is called Atlantic Blue by MAC, which is a very bright matte shade. And then to get that kind of metallic -y, metallic, -y? metallic look, I am going to use a Dahlia by Juvia's Place. And this is the Masquerade palette, this shade right here. And I'm going to start off with the MAC 221 brush. And because I already did my right eye off camera, I can tell you that this requires so much blending. It took me forever to get my eyeshadow like this. So be prepared. And when you're using this color by MAC Atlantic Blue. Keep in mind that this is an extreme matte eyeshadow, so don't use too much. Just take a little bit of that eyeshadow, try to blend it out as much as possible, and then when you want the eyeshadow to be a lot more intense, just take a little bit and then try to blend it out, because otherwise it will be patchy, it will not be pretty, and your makeup is ruined. Then I'm still using that same color, but then I'm taking the MAC 242 brush and applying this all over my eyelids. And of course, the blue eyeshadow from the Juvia's palette is very pigmented. It is very creamy, so you can just apply that on its own on your eyelid, but I like to have like a base, so it's a lot more intense and a lot more bright. So that's why I'm applying this matte shade also on my eyelids pretty easy because I'm only using three eyeshadow colors okay so I think this is about enough it is blended enough and it's time to go in with some creamy eyeshadow and I'm just gonna pat 
this eyeshadow onto my eyelids and I'm using the same brush, the MAC 214. I really want this blue to be very intense, so go in pretty heavy actually. And I am not sure, but when I'm looking at the picture, I think she also has that metallic blue shade a little bit in her crease, which I normally would not do, but for now we are. Oh, by the way, this is the Sigma E36 blend brush. I love applying like glittery or creamy eyeshadows with my fingers because it just makes it a lot more intense than when you use a brush. Okay, so we are done with the blue, I think. Maybe I need to adjust something later on, but we'll see about that. Let's do some eyeliner. If you zoom into the picture, I think there was eyeliner. I'm not sure if it was black, but that's the only liner I have. So I did a very thin liner. It was not a wing, so let's do that. And I am using the Tarte Clay Paint Liner, and I'm using the brush that comes with it. Ooh. For lashes, I'm using the primer lashes in the style London, which are not too dramatic. Oh, well, not too dramatic for me. And I think she was wearing mascara and not fake lashes, but we're not going to do that because I don't like that. It's a pretty intense look and I think it requires yeah. lashes. So that's what we're going to do. And now that half of my eyes are done, I am going to do the rest of my face. And I want it to be very dewy, very glowy, very Kim K-like. And I am first going to use the Becca Backlight Primer Filter. As you can tell, it's finished. I need to get a new one, but I'm not going to waste product because there was still something in there. Let's see if I can apply foundation without ruining this. Probably not, but who cares? It's all for the videos, guys. Bring some Glam Glow Glow Setter. And for foundation, I'm going to use a MAC Face and Body. And normally, when I want to have a lot of coverage, I apply it with my hands. But for now, because I actually want the face to be as natural as possible natural. I'm going to apply it with my sponge. And that's because I think all that heavy contouring, which I think Mario started with, well, of course it was not a new method, but everyone started doing it after he showed us the baking and stuff with Kim Kardashian. I think that's over now. And for concealer, we're going to use Tarte Shape Tape. This concealer is so full coverage, there goes my natural look. Adding bit of powder just where I normally would crease so not all the way because I want to use a liquid illuminator and I am using the Smashbox Halo Halo yeah Halo highlighting wand just gonna apply it on the cheekbones a little bit on the nose on the chin Um, for those of you asking why you see like some sort of patch up here, it's not because the eyeshadow is not blended. It is a spot I have on my eyes and no matter how much concealer I apply, it always stays here. Can you see that? Right here. To define my face, I'm going to use also something from Smashbox. It's called the contouring sticks. I love these babies. You know what? 
Let's forget about the natural look I was talking about. We're gonna go full glam. Now I'm using the Charlie Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. Wow. In the shade 2 medium, and I'm applying it with a MAC 129 brush, and I'm just applying a little bit on my cheek areas, a little bit on the forehead as well. And to highlight, I'm using the Amrezy palette by Amstavia. Why not? Bronze my face, I'm going in with my favorite. This is a Refined Golden by MAC. And I am going to use this way too expensive Tom Ford brush to do so. Okay, let's go back to the eyes. And I am going to use this Sigma 836 brush and that Atlantic Blue color again by MAC. Switching to my, what is this, Eco Tools. It's just a flat brush. And I'm going to use the color from the Juvia's palette again. And applying this right underneath my lower lashes. This is a lot of blue, so I am going to apply some black eye coal in my waterline. And I don't have to tell you, this is Feline by MAC the one I always use. Some mascara. This is the one by Essence. Now let's do some lips, which is actually very difficult because this is one. Oh, there we go. So it's very nude. I don't know if I have the right products, but I have Lip Liner Morning Coffee by MAC and I have MAC Naturally Transformed, which is a very new shade for me. And then to top it off, I have the Fenty Beauty Gloss. So Yeah, that's doing enough. This will do. Last but not least, some Glam Glow Glow Setter. You know. So yeah, guys, this was my recreation of the makeup look I saw on Kim Kardashian, her Instagram page. Like I said, I'm just obsessed with her. So I could not wait for the palette to release. I had to recreate it. And this is what I did. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I hope you like the makeup look. It is something different because I actually never wear blue. But now that I see it, I'm actually liking it so maybe i will wear this more often anyway that was the video if you have comments questions whatever there is a comment section i will please hit me up and i will get back to you